Hey, 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 what's going on? Welcome to the Podcast Accelerator, the thrice weekly show that brings you podcast education, industry insights, and straight talking reactions to podcasting news. I am your host, Mark Asquith, that British podcast guy, and CEO and co founder here at Rebel Base Media, the podcast tech company that creates the Podcast Success Academy, podcast websites, productivity, Rebel Base Studios, and Captivate.fm, the world's only growth-oriented podcast host, where you can get your first month of podcast hosting for just $1 and transfer an existing podcast in completely for free. Now, today I'm going to talk about podcast notables. What is a podcast notable? What are podcast notables? And in particular, why are they vital when considering your podcast rebrand? And actually, I think, really, when it comes to planning your entire show moving forward, if you even if you're planning a brand new show, I do believe you'd start to think a little differently after hearing this episode. So let's dig into that in just one moment. But look, before I do that, just a cheeky little reminder that the team at Aweber is still giving you that 90 days completely for free to try their wonderful email marketing platform. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, as inevitably people do, well, email marketing, it's not as easy as social media. It's not as important as social media. Marco, what are you talking about? I'm a podcaster. Why would I need to build an email list? Well, go and look at any successful podcaster that you know. I can almost guarantee you that they will have an email list that they build. And the the, the, the very simple reason for that is because it's the easiest way to connect and engage in a way that matters with your audience. Sure, There'll be so many different new tools and community options out there coming to the fore as podcasting grows and grows and grows. But email is still the most personal connection that you can get. All right. So please go and check it out. You are going to get that 90 days for free over at Aweber. So go and check that out at markasquith.com forward slash Aweber. Now, what the heck is a podcast notable? I'm doing that in air quotes, a notable. This is a term that I maybe made up, but it's certainly a term that I use to reference certain things that people recognize about your podcast instantly. For example, for me, it's the theme music. Listen, it's this. You recognize that, it's me. It's been throughout all of my podcasts, all right? Everything that I've done, it's that music. And if it starts or finishes with that music, you know that it's me. Or what about at the end? What do I say at the end of my podcasts? Remember, guys, the more you expect from yourself, the more you will excel. Of course, that is a notable for me. It's something notable about my show. Now, why am I talking to you about this? Well, like I said, for you, this may be a segment. It may be the theme music. It may be a tagline. And when rebranding your show, it's very important to understand when and what to maintain when considering these notables. As they're the beats, they're the little story beats, they're the little recognition patterns that allow people to instantly become familiar with you again. Now, if you imagine, you know, any change that you make, any change that you make, if if you move house, the first thing you unpack is often the thing that reminds you of home. Whatever home means to you, whether it's that favourite ornament, that favourite pair of slippers, doesn't matter what that is, whatever you define as being quote unquote home, when you move to a new house, it's often the thing that you unpack first or maybe last, actually. You know, it's that thing, that, that just that little finishing touch to make it feel like home. When it comes to a brand, think of Coca-Cola, that familiar red and white, especially at Christmas, holidays are coming, you know, that kind of feel. It's a very comfortable blanket, all right? And when people create new things, for example, movies, Let's think about something like uh, the terrible, I mean, I'm not a fan of this, but the terrible Justice League film that came out in 2016. I'm a huge DC Comics fan, and I was so wildly disappointed by this film. But they almost got my main man, Superman, right, okay? And what did they do when they brought him back? The one thing that they did that they'd never done before with this version of Superman, they played the very familiar John Williams. They played the Superman theme, strains of it, so that we were instantly, ah, okay, this is Superman. Okay? They actually did the same with the Batman 1989 theme. They used that in the Justice League as well. They are notable to those characters. They're a warm blanket around the shoulders. They they make you they make you realize that these are familiar things, all right? Now, when you're rebranding your podcast, the one thing that you've got to consider is that 
even if, so you've asked three questions of yourself, you've asked three questions of your audience, you've talked about show, show formats and segments, you've talked about all of this good stuff and you know what this new format is. Now, it's a case of where do the notables fit in? What do people know you for? For me, like I said, it's the tagline. I say that at the end. Of course, I'm never going to stop doing that. And it's the music at the beginning, the one-way street. That's what that's called. It's called one-way street. And it's it's the music that people recognize. So rather than changing everything about my show, I keep certain notables because they are truly that. They are notable. And for someone tuning in for the first time after a break or for someone thinking, right, I'm going to give Marco's new new show a go, that is what makes them think, do you know what? It is Mark. It is the host that I like. It is that person that I'm used to listening to. These are the notable things that I recognize. Okay. And I think you've got to understand that. That's why I always talk about talking to your audience, you know, and, and, and there are certain characteristics of your show that you should never betray. There are certain parts of your show that you should never betray. You know, if you think about any podcaster that you listen to, think about Law, Aaron Mankey, you know, I'm Aaron Mankey and this is Law. That's a, that's a notable. If he didn't do that on Law, you'd be like, what? 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 Netflix. Dung. And then the logo comes on the screen. It builds itself from the screen. Think about it. You know, you've got all of these different types of brands that you recognize based on tiny little notable elements. So what are your notable elements for your audio brand, for your podcast brand? Okay. Because you are a brand. You are something that people um, that, that people recognize. I was talking to Kieran about this yesterday. He's building a new podcast show out, which is about golf. He loves golf. Actually, we both really like golf. And, and he, he's, he's very much more into it than I am at the moment. And he, uh, he wants to build a new show out, and it's a great format. He's been working on that. I cast my eye over it yesterday and just, you know, talked a little bit deeper about brand on it. Because even, even someone that is around podcasting every day sometimes forgets that actually we are a brand. As a podcaster, we are a brand. So what is notable about our brand? So what I want you to do today, if you haven't already, what do you think are your notables? What do you believe are your podcast's notables? Is it your segments, your theme tune? Is it that phrase that you say all the time? Is it the way you introduce things? Is it a characteristic about your voice? What is that notable? Or what are several notables? Make a note of that. Like I said, for me, theme tune and tagline at the end. Everything else is movable. I can tweak and change that, all right? Make a note of what those are, because if you are going through a rebranding or you're going through an iterative process of changing your show, or maybe you're even thinking about creating a network and popping another show alongside your existing show, you have to consider this because for fans of yours, and you believe me, you will have fans, they will want to start to hear some familiar beats so that it is like that warm blanket around the shoulders saying, look, this is us, this is me. It's the same thing that you know, but it's different. We've got other stuff coming for you. We've got this upgrade. We've changed this. But look, the basics, it's me. All right? You are in the right place. That's what a podcast notable is about. So make a note today. What are your podcast notables? And thank you so much for joining me here on the Podcast Accelerator. I really enjoy talking to you about podcasting. I absolutely adore it. And please... Remember to tell all of your podcasting friends, anyone that's got a podcast or is interested in getting into podcasting, that this show is available to listen to for free in any app that supports podcasts. And if you're wondering what the best next step is for your own podcast, whether you're a new podcaster or a veteran podcaster, I'd love you to go ahead and take our short little five-minute survey where I'm going to help you to diagnose and solve the main issue that's holding back your show. There are only a number of of issues, a very specific number of issues that hold back shows from growing. I want you to go and find out which one of these issues you are facing. And I'm in return for that, I'm not only going to give you the answer to that, I'm going to give you a very clear path to solving that problem, but I'm going to give you access to our free, vibrant podcast rebellion community, weekly free group coaching from me and the team here at Rebel Base Media. I'm going to give you actionable and completely inside a rebellion only emails, and even a free invitation to the Podcast Success Academy. So please go ahead and invest five minutes now to grow your podcast by heading to rebelbasemedia.io forward slash grow. And until the next episode, never forget, the more you expect from yourself, the more you will excel.